to a time of meditation from Isaiah 44, but during this time, I encourage you to keep your eyes closed, refrain from looking at the verse or looking at the journal, but simply meditate on the Word of God and allow this Word to read you. It's from Isaiah 44, verse 24. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, who formed you from the womb, I am the Lord who made all things. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, who formed you from the womb. I am the Lord who made all things.
Jesus, you came and overcame death, and we will sing praise, for you are worthy of all praise in the heavens and the earth. Even now, let new lyrics, new melodies and harmonies rise to you. Let joyful praise and new music be like incense to you, lifting your name higher and higher as the incense rises and fills up the heavens. Let it be pleasing to your ears.
God, as we trust in your power, you are shedding away all fear, all worry. Isaiah 44, verse 25. Who frustrates the signs of liars and makes fools of diviners, who turns wise men back and makes their knowledge foolish, who confirms the word of his servant and fulfills the counsel of his messengers. God, you are a God that always sticks to your word. You always do what you say you'll do. You always fulfill your promises. And you are faithful to every word as we remember your promises for your church, for your people, and for us individually. We can stand assured that you will fulfill every promise. You do not let your promises drop to the floor. You do not forget them. Everything is fulfilled in your perfect timing. So we will trust in your promises. We will trust in your word, because you'll do what you say. Lord, your word is breaking forth, even in our hearts right now. You're breaking our chains. You're
Water. 
faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of to the water asking for more of your heart for Israel to be aligned with how you're moving for Israel how your heart burns for Israel and so we ask for more of that right now in Jesus name we pray amen like I said we'll be transitioning into a time of intercession for the nation of Israel um, yeah God's heart is for Israel. His prophecies are all throughout the Old Covenant, the Old Testament. It's just his promises for Israel. And so, um, yeah, ask for more of his heart as we begin to begin this intercession. Uh, I will lead out in a topic and it will be on the slide on the PowerPoint. And so after I stop speaking into the mic, I ask you to join in your own intercession. Isaiah 40, 40, 44, 21 says, Remember these things, O Jacob and Israel, for you are my servant. I formed you. You 
are my servant. O Israel, you will not be forgotten by me. Lord, we pray for your remembrance upon Israel. You counted it righteousness when Abraham believed your blessing over him and his offspring. And you spoke that you would multiply his offspring as the stars of heaven and as a sand on the seashore. That his offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies and be blessed because he obeyed your voice. And Lord, we pray just as Jacob had the dream of the ladder reaching to heaven with angels ascending and descending on it, showing him that you are with him and would not leave him until you had done what you have promised. We pray this upon Israel today, just as Jacob awoke and cried out that surely the Lord was in this place and he did not know it, that Israel today would awaken and realize that Lord, you are still in that place. Let Israel remember that you have never left them. Let's pray.
are the fulfillment of the prophecies. You were the one that was wounded to blot out Israel's transgressions. You were the one that came to die on a tree and bear the sin of many. You were the Messiah that was prophesied all throughout the Old Testament, written in Micah 5.2, the ruler over Israel from Bethlehem, descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, sent to heal the brokenhearted and be called king. Jesus, you are the Messiah they have long awaited. We pray for this res revelation to awaken Israel. You aren't just with them, but you have come to answer and show the fulfillment of your covenant, of your promises. Cover Israel by your blood, Jesus, and open their eyes to see how you have fulfilled every word and every prophecy. Release redemption and salvation through the blood of the Lamb. Let's pray.
Jewish people worldwide are turning and seeing your face, Jesus. Let celebrations and revival break out as they come to the realization that, Jesus, you did fulfill every word. Let joy break out in Israel and let your name be glorified. Let celebration fill the earth for the Lord has redeemed Israel. We pray for every heart in Israel to have a deep longing for your return, Jesus. We declare a deep yearning and crying aloud for the return and second coming of their Messiah and King. And that you would hear the cries coming to heaven, shouting around the earth, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come. Return to your people and to the nation that you established so long ago. Hear the cries burning in their hearts now. Let's pray. delight that apple of your eye again we pray for builders and intercessors to come and rebuild your city your nation and your people we pray protection all around and for that word to be fulfilled that it will be more glorious than Israel has ever known before as it is unified with your church we pray for glory upon Israel to rise and shine and take its place let's pray
just thank you that we belong to you, that what you've done for us, Lord, has sealed our faith in your hands. We thank you, God, that today we find ourselves in the hands of our maker, in the hands of a potter who is fully in control, who is all-powerful, to whom we owe all. We surrender all before you. We surrender all before you, knowing, Lord, that you are worthy of every sacrifice. You're worthy of any cost. Lord, we long to see you more and more with every day. And we thank you, God, that even as we intercede on behalf of Israel,